hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is about where i've been the past couple of months and why i've not been posting so going back a week ago i went to my boyfriend's house everything was fine well i thought everything was fine so what happened was everything went well we had rugby and all that stuff like normal weekend when i normally go up there we got i go up on a friday afternoon we go to rugby on saturday and then sunday is our days off and we do nothing and then sunday afternoon i go home except this weekend i mean not this weekend sorry last weekend there was a little bit of a twist so what happened was we had rugby on saturday that went fine and then my boyfriend had rugby on Sunday. He was doing state trials, which went really well. He said that he didn't, that he felt fine. And then afterwards he said that he started feeling sick and he woke up this morning feeling really ill. And I'm like thinking, why did you not tell us? And all that stuff. And all that, so we went to state trials, everything went fine and all that. Then we had to start prepping for his birthday because his birthday was on Tuesday. And so we had to stop at Elizabeth quickly. He fell asleep in the car and all that stuff. Then we went home. He was meant to go to school the next day, but he was in too much pain. So he didn't go that day. His mum and dad had to go out to the shops to go get party things and decorations and all that stuff for his birthday. So I stayed home with him, looked after him. He didn't really do anything, he just played video games and all that stuff, but still, I still sat next to him and all that stuff and made sure he was alright, got him food and drinks if he wanted it. And on Tuesday, everything was fine, we went to the movies, watched two movies, went to Time Zone, wasn't thinking anything was wrong with him, he still had a bit of a cough, but we still went out. We weren't thinking anything like COVID or anything, we were just thinking that he's got like a fever or a cough or cold, we're not sure. So... Yeah, we thought everything was fine, then that night there was a lot more people coughing, his mom was coughing and so was him, and all that stuff, and we went home, watched a movie at home, and then went all to bed. Then me and Ethan got woken up in the morning, his mom has now tested positive to COVID. I started panicking because I was meant to go home this day, and it was Wednesday, and I couldn't. Because if he tested positive, I couldn't go home. Sadly, Ethan tested positive to COVID. So him and his mom split from me and they went into the lounge room. I went into Ethan's room and sat there and cried and bawled my eyes out. Excuse me. And I was just so nervous and all that stuff. So then she booked us all in to get a PCR test done. So we went there. We all had our test done. I called my nan to let her know that I'll be there for one more night. Me and Ethan did not sleep together or anything. He slept in the lounge room. I was in the bedroom by myself. Um, them two definitely tested positive. I was negative and the rest of the family was negative. I went home that night, or that day I should say, sorry. And two days later, so on Friday, I did a PCR test at home, well, rats test, sorry. <sighs> Instead of me seeing one line, I have seen two lines, which is just amazing. Not. I regret what I just said then, but I do not want it, and I have now got COVID. It is the worst thing I've ever had. Yes, you're probably looking at me and thinking, you look fine, you look normal, but now that we know that you got COVID, we know that you're not well in the inside probably so like i said i got covid and with my experience i feel completely fine i've got so much energy and all that stuff i've been doing cleaning around the house wearing a mask don't worry i'm not spreading the bugs but yes i definitely know that i have been feeling a lot better i'm on day five today i've got two days to go i have got my rats test for tomorrow, I mean not tomorrow, for Friday I meant so. I've got that ready so that I can take it. And I'm just hoping the best that it comes up with a negative. I did a test yesterday and there was a very faint line. So I'm fingers crossed. I mean, 
I've got my fingers crossed because I am hoping I'm on the mild now and it's just going away slowly. I'm doing everything, resting, taking medications, panadols, whatever I need to take to hopefully get rid of it. And I've been vaccinated as well. I've had two doses and a booster. So I'm hoping that this is going away slowly and I'll be better by the weekend and all that stuff. But yes, sadly I got it. I don't want it. But as I said before with my experience, like it doesn't even feel like I've got the damn virus. Like it just I just feel like I've got a normal cold or something. But yeah, it's not it's not good to even say if you feel good or not you should just say yep you've got it and all that stuff because it's not good to say i feel fine i just feel like i've got a cold because there are worse things that can happen and all that stuff and not that i'm going to repeat them or say them because i don't want to scare everyone with how bad covid can be but i just agree with everyone and just say yep it's not good because it isn't it's terrible to have like this thing is so bad but yeah so guys Thanks for watching my video, give it a big thumbs up, like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys for the next video. Bye guys.